Hello everyone, today is Friday, February 2nd. It's 3.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On my right is my computer clock and you can see uh, the date and the time. Our videos recorded in real time. And then on my left is the time and sales, the E-mini S&P uh, trading at lows for the day. As you can see, the red highlighted time and sales at 2763.50 area. Another fantastic video today. Just so many winning charts that we follow. We follow, you know, a dozen charts or more. And we had many, many winners, same as yesterday and the day before, that hit our daily goals or, or winners doing over a thousand dollars in profits. And most of our charts trade two contracts, a couple of them trade three, but most of the charts are trading two contracts only. First up is the DAX on the Superenco 14 tick. We trade two charts on the Superenco 14 tick. For, for my clients and my uh, licensees, I'm going to show the uh, template names here so you can emulate these charts on your own PC. And then this one has a goal of 32.50, and it did 32.62, so we had some positive slippage. If I bring the bars closer together, this was pretty active today. We uh, went up and down and sideways all over the place here. We, we came right out of the gate and made an equity high of $1,500. So again, you could trade a chart like this with a s smaller goal, and your probabilities and number of trades would be much higher. And then we drew down these two drawdowns here were only uh, minus $150 or so. And then we came back with the string of winners right here. And that brought us up to our goal was this string of five or six winners. There was one small loser in here, but it was probably this big long position here that uh, helped get us towards our goal of 32.50 and we had one tick positive slippage. Okay, so the DAX on the Superenco 14 tick with the $2,000 goal. Here's the template and then our goal of 2000. This did 1987.50, only one tick of slippage and a whole lot less trades. Okay, next up is the DAX on a 34 tick line break chart. Another chart that we've seen quite a bit. This one hit its goal of 2000 and we had a little bit of slippage on the end. We, here is the template for this chart and our goal on this one. And so this was moderately active today. We're basically up, down, and up. Our drawdown here was only a couple of hundred dollars, so pretty mild for the DAX, all things considered. Okay, next up is another line break chart. This is the Russell on a 150 tick line break. And you can see our trades from the open here. There was only one small loser right off the open, and that was followed by six winners in a row. And we hit our goal of 1,500 on this one. Here is our template for this chart. And this would be three line breaks. That's the standard. Okay, next up is the NASDAQ on the Superenco 10 tick. This one is trading three contracts. And here is the template. And our goal on this is 1,500. So we had a tick or so of positive slippage. Okay, next up is the DAX on the 150 tick chart. And what looks like two small trades uh, resulted in uh, hitting our goal for the day. Our, our goal on this one is 1550 and here's the template for this chart. So it just goes to show the tremendous volatility in the DAX, how much potential there is trading swings in the DAX. Also of note is the swings in the BWT trend indicator. Uh, here's our signal. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five swings here. The four out of five swings off the open were very tradable. This one here was kind of sideways. And then if we uh, go a little further on the chart, we have more very tradable, excellent swings here. So the BWT trend indicator, quite impressive. 
there's lots of different trading methods out there, but the BWT trend indicator can really light the way in a very simple, clear, and concise, and easy to see and interpret way without cluttering the chart with a myriad of indicators and complicated uh, methodologies, you know, order flow, volume inside the bar, all those kinds of things are extremely complex and most traders will never truly get or understand those kinds of trading methods. I, I've always uh, believed in keeping it as simple as possible as long as I've been trading. Okay, next up is the crude oil on a Superenco 6 tick and this was fairly active today. But from the beginning of the equity, you can see it was mostly up. There was a little bit of a dip mid-session here, but this did uh, 13.20. Our drawdown was only less than $200, and here is the template here. Our goal on this is 13.20, and so we hit our goal on the numbers. Quite a lot of winning trades. Uh, this is using our line break logic and again the indicator signals here but uh, nevertheless it hit its goal uh, very solid on the crude here trading only two contracts okay next up is the DAX on a 150 tick line break chart and this just had a single trade which looks like a short distance here but these are obviously some large moves in the DAX once again the swings on the line break chart uh, similar to the other chart we were just looking at Lots of tradable swings on a line break chart. This did 1387.50. Here's the template here, and our goal on this was 1500. So, uh, might have hit our goal and had some slippage. Probably did because it did not trade again. Okay, next up is the bonds, 30 year treasury bond on our Superenco 2 tick. We've seen this quite a bit. And once again, a single short trade kind of similar to yesterday's trade with just excellent entry and exit uh, getting filled on our limit fill did 1125 for the day this is our template here and our goal was uh, 1200 so we probably had a couple of ticks slippage on our market order when we hit our goal okay next up is the NASDAQ on a 987 Heiken Ashi tick chart and this had uh, several trades here about four or five trades only one loser here and then bringing us to our looks like our goal which would be 1300 on this chart so we hit our goal and had a tick slippage on our market order and this is the template for this chart Okay, the crude oil on a Superenco 10 tick had a single short trade. This is using our line break logic. And pretty impressive trading just two contracts and probably hit our goal of 12.50 indeed. And here's the template for this chart. This is uh, a limit order at the close of the bar minus five ticks. Okay, this is a new chart. First time I've shown this. This is the crude oil on a uni Ranko chart, and I have it plotted as open, low, high, close bars, and I will be showing this in the video. I'm taking me a little bit to put it together as it requires in-depth explanation of, of the different types of Ranko bars, including the uni Ranko. So if I change this back to candlesticks, it'll give a more familiar look for this particular bar but anyway what I did with this is I used a higher time frame to filter out these whipsaws a higher time frame of a super Renko chart a six super Renko chart with a sensitivity of 1.2 and our goal on this is a thousand dollars plus a tick so this had actually a tick positive slippage and this chart was pretty active today, quite, well, not a huge drawdown, only about $350 or so. And then it was straight up after that to uh, into hitting our goal. So some nice trades here and the 
higher time frame obviously worked well. Okay, the Russell on a Superenco 6 tick, uh, again, pretty active today. Uh, minor drawdown of a couple of hundred dollars. Ending up with 10.65 for the day. Here is the template for this chart, and then our goal was 1,100, so we probably did hit our goal. Okay, the YM on a 500 Heikenashi tick chart, and this was moderately active today, and drew down about $500, and but then came back, and probably hit our goal. I'm guessing it's a thousand dollars and it is and this is the template for this chart. Okay next up is the crude oil on a precision Ranko 8 tick 150 percent reversal. Basically what that means is the bar size is 8 ticks and a 150 percent reversal would be 8 ticks plus 50 percent of 8 is 4 so 12 ticks to get a, re a bar in the other direction. Anyway, this had two winners in a row, and here's the template. Our goal on this was a thousand, so we hit our goal with no slippage. Okay, next up is a 987 Heikenashi tick chart on the NASDAQ, and this has a goal of a thousand, and slightly different settings. We have another chart with the Heiken Ashi. This one has a sensitivity of one. And then the other chart that we saw that did has a higher profit goal is using our line break logic. Uh, this one is not. This is not using our line break logic. And the previous one has a sensitivity of two. So different settings on the same chart uh, but this just had a single long trade here and hit our goal. Okay, our E-mini S&P on a super rank of four tick with a two tick uh, other time frame hit its goal at 750, a very minor drawdown of less than $100 and then came up to hit our goal before the noon hour. So we had one loser followed by four winners in a row. Okay, forgot to show this earlier, but we have the gold on the Super Inco 14 tick. This did 920 for the day on a single long trade. Uh, I have to roll over the contract month uh, for the gold is April, so this will be changed tomorrow. Okay, the E-mini S&P Super Inco 2 tick with a 4 tick higher time frame hit its goal at 750, had some slippage at the end on just two trades here, no losers, you can see this. This is trading two contracts, and this is the template. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a Superenco 6 tick the chart that starts trading at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This had two winners and two losers. The losers were quite small here, and this came up and hit its goal, and we had a tick slippage with our market order when we hit our goal. That's all for today's video. If you would like to find out more, please visit our website at bluewavetrading.com or send us an email to systems at bluewavetrading.com. Be sure to be on the lookout for our Renko Bar explanation video. I should have it by the end of the weekend. Thanks for watching today.